So it's time for crypto news. Every week I let you guys know the latest things going on in the crypto world, whether it's interesting topics, maybe it's uh, legal things going on, uh, literally anything going on uh, that's related to the crypto or blockchain. I want to keep you guys updated so you guys can make the best decisions possible with your investments. But before we jump into the news of the week, I did want to shout out a project that I recently discovered, which I thought was really an interesting idea. So it's called Fit Burn. It's the first burn to earn. Yes, burn to earn. I don't think I've ever heard of that uh, term before. Uh, application based on AI technology. Obviously, AI is uh, a hot topic these days, and having that component uh, in, a, in a crypto project is definitely exciting. Um, so. What Fitburn is going to do is going to improve lifestyle and earn money from it, play sports with NFTs, uh, track your progress, rent NFTs, a bunch of exciting stuff. Um, this project has uh, some of the top partners in the fitness world, uh, which is really cool. So I always say that projects that have good partnerships are, uh, you know, really set themselves up for success. So Fibo, uh, the organization, Mr. Olympia, um, they've been supported by. Uh, Sculpt, Digital 51, uh, Salad, Surtech. Uh, they've done a lot of work to make sure that you guys uh, feel really confident about what they're doing. Uh, and so here's more information uh, about their ecosystem. Uh, they have a mobile app, they have an NFT. So it's NFT is an NFT shirt, which is really cool, which you can unlock a bunch of rewards. Um, they have a token, they have staking, and then like I said, uh, this AI module, which really they're at the forefront of it. I don't know too many projects projects out there uh, that have an AI component to it. Um, they have their Cal token listing uh, coming up uh, on May 15th. So that's why I'm kind of telling you about it right now. Uh, so you guys can do your research on their social, etc. I'll make sure to um, you guys uh, get all the information on it. Uh, all the links I'll put in the description. Uh, it's going to be on PancakeSwap, Gate, and then MEXC, and then BitGet. So I've talked a lot about uh, obviously PancakeSwap, but Gate and MEXC, you guys know those are some of my favorite exchanges, so it's great that they're launching there. Uh, this is a great opportunity for you guys to get in on an interesting project at one of the earliest prices, probably the lowest it's ever going to be. Um, so definitely uh, check it out. I did want to let you guys know about this. They have an app available. They have a lot of um, interesting things going on besides of this ecosystem. This is just the start of it. So if you guys are interested, definitely check out fitburn.ai. I'll put the links in the description so you guys can check this out. Definitely an exciting project and one that I wanted to talk about with you guys. Remember May 15th is when uh, all the excitement begins with the token. So um, that's Fitburn. Let me know what you guys think about that, but let's get on with the news. So unlike Merge, Ethereum's Shanghai um, will could bring the ETH price Volatility. So the next major catalyst for the crypto market is Ethereum's Shanghai upgrade scheduled in March. So this did happen. I'm bringing it up to you late because the idea is we're always wondering like why is Ethereum going up? People are wondering like uh, are they doing anything to the project? Did someone say something about Ethereum? But it's good to keep track of what's going on. And this uh, upgrade happened, and they have many more uh, to come. And that's definitely opening it up uh, for people out there. Again, it says, which will open up withdrawals of more than 16.5 million, yes, 16.5 million, at stake in the blockchain. So uh, always keep updated with Ethereum. Obviously, uh, I know I'm, you guys know I'm a huge holder of it. Uh, I know you guys are definitely holders of it. So definitely keep updated on everything going on there. Uh, Terra founder Du Quan uh, charged with fraud over 40 billion in crypto. Uh, remember, he was the creator of the Terra blockchain protocol. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on with that. He has uh, officially been charged. So, uh, definitely not great news for him. Oh, but I know a lot of people out there are, um, you know, wanted to know what was going on with that. So, that's what happened. Uh, crypto exchange Binance will suspend US dollar transfers, uh, deposit, and withdrawals. Um, they announced this a couple weeks ago. Uh, they've actually, and I'm bringing up this up again today, because they actually um, are suspending like Bitcoin uh, withdrawals. So just keep your eye on that. Obviously, Binance is a huge exchange. A lot of things happen when uh, they suspend. Uh, so definitely something to, to keep in mind. Um, Solana seeks ultra bullish push from Helium migration. We'll be migrating to Solana March 27th. I know I'm a little bit late with this, but I'm just letting you guys know all the things that have been going on with this. Again, Solana is another big player. Every time something happens with Solana, things happen in the news, I think that uh, you guys should definitely keep uh, aware of what's going on. Obviously, migrations are good, that they're improving, but uh, just something to keep in mind that 
uh, it's something you should keep track of. I'm definitely going to keep track of anything going on with Solana since it affects so many other different projects as well. Um, XRP, another big project, six bullish prospects, cross chain bridge to drive interlopers. So obviously the market's down. What do we do? Obviously, not always. It's not crazy when new coins are launched. I mean, there's still coins launching all the time, but the idea is that uh, we need to keep track of all the projects that are existing. What is happening? What is? What are they improving? Uh, are they having some legal issues? Uh, in this case of XRP, uh, I've unveiled a new XRPL standard for cross chain bridge. Expand the potential use case for the network. So essentially attracting more people to use XRP and be involved in the project. So definitely an exciting uh, time for XRP. Again, I, I know you guys are always asking about updates from it. So that's the latest update. More news to come in the near future. If you follow me uh, on any socials, Twitter, etc., I'll be posting more um, on there. Definitely check out Fitburn if you guys are interested in it. It's definitely an exciting project that I'm going to keep track of. I'll probably do another video in the near future. Again, I'll probably uh, let you guys uh, know about more exciting things uh, coming up about this project. Remember, May 15th is the date. Burn to Earn, definitely an interesting concept that I want to learn more about and hopefully check it out with you guys in the future. Definitely check out the NFTs. The NFT shirt is a cool uh, idea, something I definitely want to um, be a part of and maybe invest in uh, after I do more research. So, Fitburn, Crypto News, thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.